Okay. Hello, everybody. Thanks for hopping on this call tonight. I know it's a busy time. It's the holidays. We're all doing all the things for all the people right now. Um, so I just want to give everybody here a little round of applause for making the time to be on this call. Um, it'll be a quick call, but I think have some good information, hopefully some memory joggers or some refreshers, reminders of things that we can do to really rock the end of the year. Things maybe you did in the past and haven't done in a while or new scripts for you to use or things like that, right? So I'm hoping to provide you with some of the things that I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna be helping my team do. And hopefully they give you some ideas of some activities to do for yourself and your own team. Um, but they might be things that you know, you've heard me talk about before, but I do them and I talk about them because they work and they're effective. So this is going to be kind of a quick chat with a few tips and scripts and reminders of things to work you towards a rank up, work you towards a re-rank, work you towards earning leaders retreat or all of the above, right? Um, or maybe you just want to start January off really strong and you don't want, you know, December to put you in a backward spiral because you definitely don't want to be starting 2022 three steps backwards, right? You wanna make sure you're in momentum, you're working forward, um, and whatever you do now is really gonna shape how you go into January. So I want you to remember that. Um, I know there are some seasons of sprinting and some seasons of resting. Well, we are like getting ready for the sprint season. So um, all the seeds you can plant now, all of the new customers you can get now, all the new potentials you can get now, are gonna allow you to sprint even harder, even faster, grow even more come Q1, Q2 of next year. Because if you've been with Plexus for a year or more, you've probably seen the mania that happens in like the springtime. So um, you know that momentum season is really upon us and not even just the springtime, a lot of people wanna hop back on the health wagon after the new year. So remember that, be growing those lists, be connecting with those people. And we're gonna go through um, kind of some things to help you grow your team heading into the new year and closing out this month um, for whatever your goals are. Um, I know that we all want new team members, new business builders, new potentials, um, but we need to kind of dig in and see where our blind spots are. Um, what could we be doing better? What can help us kind of carry through this holiday season that's gonna be really busy? Um, it's gonna come down to basic IPAs, right? Either we're doing them or we're not, or either we're doing them well or we're not, right? There's only about five or six different activities that we should be doing on the daily or regularly, however you time block your work. Um, but in the holidays, holiday time, it's easy to let some of that go. So I'm going to kind of call some of those to mind again. Um, and I have some tips for, to help you kind of within those IPAs. But remember, 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 these times are so busy and they're busy for everybody. Okay. You're going to need to block off some work hours or power half hours, right? You're going to talk to your family, talk to your husband, um, you know, make sure that hubby's the one driving to the Christmas party so that you can do some follow-ups in the car on the way, right? That kind of thing. You need to talk to your kids, you know, mommy's working or, you know, aiming towards the end of the month or, you know, whatever. This is who I'm helping. This is why. This is what I'm going for. Get their buy-in, right? Um, you know, if you have little kids, they're going to be home for Christmas break. What does that look like for your family? Don't get caught up in the middle of that and realize, I have no time. I'm going crazy. I now my whole schedule got flipped upside down, right? Take a look at that now. What does that look like for you? Okay. Um, where are those hours? Where are those work times? What are you going to do? Um, how are you going to communicate that to your family? So I want to make sure that everybody kind of has their mind in that place as we head into kind of Christmas break season. Um, and if you have any questions throughout the call, um, just type them in the chat and I'll answer them. Um, and I have three big kind of categories that I'm going to talk about tonight and I'll kind of break down each one. But the very, very first one that I'm going to talk about is showing up consistently. Okay. When we get busy, sometimes we let showing up on social media suffer a little bit. Okay. Take a look at how you've been doing posting on your feed, posting in your stories. Are the doors of your business open every day? Because your social media is your storefront. Okay. And if people don't see you on there, they're not going to remember that you're open for business. Yes, we're always thinking about Plexus, but everybody else is not always thinking about Plexus, okay? Seeing you in their feed is their reminder. Seeing you in their inbox is their reminder. My first goal is to never let my stories run out. I want my profile, my face, my stories to always be at the top of my friend's feed, and I want them to get used to watching my stories every day. 
Okay. I don't have groundbreakingly amazing content. I'm just present, right? I'm present daily and I'm consistent as all get out. And if you are too, you're going to be leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else on social media. Okay. And that's a form of engagement in the eyes of social media, right? And in the algorithm, if they're watching my stories or even better, if they can interact with them in some way, if they're pausing on them and watching through the whole 15 seconds of a story, they're more likely to see my feed posts too, because Facebook and Instagram know that they're spending time on my content. Okay. So stories are gaining in importance. And I want, if you're not somebody who's really used to that, um, start trying to put something in your stories every day, 15 seconds a day, guys, 15 seconds. That's like nothing. (laughs) Okay. You can do it. Um, I also aim to put Plexus content in my stories every day or every other day, as long as it's kind of well-spaced from the last piece of Plexus content that I shared there. I always make sure there's personal content in between. Um, But stories are starting to be a habit for people, right? People are habitually watching stories. Some of them are consuming stories more than they are feed content. So um, when people are busy, sometimes they're not gonna scroll, 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 scroll for hours, right? They're gonna watch the first thing at the top of their screen and you want it to be your face, right? So remember that, that if you're not someone who's habitually creating stories and sharing stories, get really consistent on that and just try to show up every day with a little something. Um, If it can be you and your face to allow people to get to know you and feel closer to you, even better. If it's something that can get people to engage with you in some way, even better on that too, okay? As for feed posts, um, I aim for one to two posts daily on weekdays, um, at least one post over the weekend. I usually try to do like one Saturday, one Sunday, Um, but I always have like one or two personal posts between each Plexus post. So I know this seems super basic, but in the holidays, guys, we can really forget to do some of this stuff. If it's not a hard and fast habit for you to be present on social media, on your feed and your stories daily, that is the number one way to get more visibility. That's the number one way to grow in relationships and trust with people. Um, That's the number one way they're going to remember you, get to know you, all of that, right? Develop a connection with you. all of those things kind of feed into why being present on social media is important. So if you're finding that you're getting busy going to the holiday parties and doing the shopping and wrapping the presents and taking the kids to the things and whatever, right? Um, Remember to open the doors of your business, which means being present on social media, okay? And remember to kind of vary the types of posts that you share so it's not all the same, right? We don't want every single day being like a good morning, pink drink selfie, I love my pink drink right? That doesn't give anybody any information. It gets kind of boring. People tend to tune you out, right? Um, we've got product information, guys. We've got testimonies. We've got business posts. We've got, you know, gut health information, ingredient spotlights. You know, you can vary your info so it's not a bunch of the same thing, okay? Um, somebody, one of the ambassadors that I enrolled um, end of last month was specifically off of, of a post I did about sleep. It was a potential that I had been talking to for a while, while she was on the fence, not going for it, and I posted about sleep that hit home for her. She messaged me and she said, I'm ready. I need some good sleep in my life. So remember that when you're varying your posts, not to just use um, a lot of cookie cutter posts, think about your network, what they might need and get really specific down in the nitty gritty. So think about your posting, your consistency, your stories, your newsfeed posts, the types of of, um, posts that you're sharing. Uh, is it always you taking a selfie with a product or are there some, um, you know, some videos in there, some boomerangs in there, maybe some reels on Instagram, maybe photos of your kids holding the kids products. Maybe it's testimonies of other people. Maybe it's before and afters, right? Like mix it up. So you're not just the same um, thing showing up day after day after day, because it's really easy to tune that out. So think about those things, think about how you can show up more consistently and commit to that over the next couple of weeks, because consistency is what sets you apart. Um, think about every single person on your friends list. It's a lot, right? Your friends or followers. There's probably tons of people on there. And I bet maybe, maybe a handful of them are posting every single day, every single day. Okay. So think about how much that sets you apart and how much more visible that makes you. If you're committing to daily showing up daily, opening your business. Okay. All right. That's my first one showing up consistently in all those ways. The second thing connecting with your potentials. Okay. Hopefully you have a list living somewhere in your planner, in your phone, at least a notebook. Hopefully it's not a bunch of post-it notes everywhere. (laughs) Oh, it's a little more secure than that, but I would like you to kind of aim to go down this list, wish those people happy holidays, Merry Christmas, 
get in their inbox, ask questions. What are they doing for the holidays? How are they celebrating? Are they hosting family? Are they traveling? What does that look like? Is their family staying healthy and well this season, right? Get a conversation going. Um, I have a couple of people that are celebrating December birthdays, right? So that's a fun conversation topic is birthdays around the holidays. I have birthdays around the holidays in my family. So I know how that feels when it's like presents on presents on presents. So I've been talking to people about that. Um, this is going to build your relationship and strengthen the algorithm in your favor. So they're more likely to see your content. Okay. And in a couple of weeks, when it's the end of the month, you can reach out to them or ask them again about Plexus without feeling like a cold contact, right? Because you kind of made a personal connection on the in-between and started um, a conversation in between. So if you have like a hot 20 list of the month or a top potentials list or whatever that looks like, um, kind of go to the people that you feel like you need to make more of a connection with and, you know, just get in their inbox. And a perfect way to do that is wishing them Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and asking them some questions and getting a conversation going. Um, if it feels right, I highly recommend offering samples to your potentials now so they can try them over the next couple of weeks and you can follow up to hopefully sign, hopefully sign them for the end of the month. Um, I love sampling, talk about sampling all of the time. Um, and this is a good time, mid-month is a good time to send samples, like first and second week of the month great time to send samples because it gives people time to try them and then you can follow up at the end of the month. If you have potentials that you would like to, you know, wish Merry Christmas, you haven't offered a sample to them yet and you'd like to, here's a script. I'm going to drop it into the chat so you can save it. It's extremely simple because I want you to be able to add in whatever personal touch you want to, um, but you can adapt this and use it. I just want to drop these so you have them. If you get in the situation where you're like, sitting there on your phone and you're, you cannot think of anything, you're feeling brain dead, like here's a script you can use. It just says, oh, let me set it. Ah. Um, Hi, Sarah, happy holidays. I hope your family is staying healthy and well this season. To spread some holiday cheer, I'm sending free plexus samples to my friends. Would you like me to send one your way? Okay, super simple. It does not need to be full of fluff. You don't need to make it this like super deep, long message, okay? I do this all the time all the time um, to my potentials. I'm just like, hey, sometimes I just say like, hi, Liz, I'm packing samples. Do you want one? <laughs> like sometimes I literally am like, you know what? I don't really know what to say to this potential. I have her written down to follow up with her, but like conversation is kind of dead. So I'm usually just like, hey, I'm packing samples for a few of my friends. Would you like me to send one to you as well? Super easy. So I do that all the time. Easy as that. Send them out, follow up, and later ask them if they'd like to get started with Plexus or they want to see any of the combos that are on sale this month. Um, I use that line all the time. Would you be interested in looking at the current packages on sale? Because sometimes they're like, oh yeah, I'll take a look, you know, and then you can kind of get to know their health needs and stuff if you really haven't had that conversation yet. Um, and hopefully it's before the end of the month, but if not, that's okay too, okay? That's okay. We love people where they're at. Um, I don't use the Engage app uh, because if I had the free samples in the Engage app or I got them, I would totally do that. Love the Engage app. I love the videos that we can send as a follow-up to be like, here, you're trying Microbiome Slim, like here's a video about it or whatever. I love that. Um, but if I'm just going to send them a single stick of Slim, I put it in an envelope with one stamp and send it off in the mail. It's it's cheaper for me to do that. Um, cheaper and faster <laughs> for me to do that. So um, I just send them out in the mail. Um, but I find that people, if you can get a sample to them, if you can get in their home, on their kitchen counter, right? You have given something to them. When they're ready, they'll come to you because they know you're the one who has made an effort to connect with them. Um, you're the one who has sent them a sample. You're the one who's built that relationship. So even if time goes by um, and they're not ready and it maybe, you know, I send birthday samples. I know you guys know that I do birthday samples. Those are like brand new connections that I make with people, right? So that's the beginning of this dance. That's the beginning of a conversation. I don't expect them to like try a birthday sample and then sign up with a 209 welcome back that day. Um, that's just me getting my foot in the door saying, look, I have, you know, sacrificed something for you, right? My time, my money, my effort to send this to you. I think it's something you would really enjoy. I've given this gift to you. So it kind of allows them to see that you have some sweat in the game. Um, and so I find that a lot of these people kind of come back around and say, oh, I, you sent me a sample, you know, last year, and I think I'm ready to give it a try now because they've been watching. So just kind of love people where they're at and know that um, a sample is a good step in the right direction. It's another exposure. It's another opportunity for people to try something before they buy it. A lot of people want to try before they buy, even with the 60 day money back guarantee, people want to taste something before they spend money on it. Right. So um, sampling, sampling, sampling. I would like challenge you to send some samples out this week, like a handful of them. Um, I find out of every like 
five to 10 samples I send out, I probably send a few, a few a week. Um, out of every like five to 10 samples, I get probably one or two people who become customers. So um, if you think about like a very small investment that has a pretty good return, uh, sampling, it works. It really does work. So I believe in that big time. So connect with your potentials, at least at a minimum, get a conversation going, ask some questions so that you can follow up with them later in the month about Plexus and it doesn't feel like it's a total cold contact or like kind of revive, you're trying to revive a conversation that was dead, right? Um, get that established. If you can't offer samples, do that because I absolutely love it. Um, okay, the third thing that I'm gonna talk about is connecting with your team. And this one has two parts. First, let's call this like 3A. <laughs> we have got to check in with our people more often, especially during the holidays because people get busy they forget to take their products. They spend money on presents and like decide not to buy their plexus, right? They need us to help them stay healthy through all of this, okay? Anyone who has joined in the last 60 to 90 days, we should be connecting with them minimum every week, like minimum, okay? They're in their first three months. This is like prime time, game time in the zone. They should be seeing results. We should force them to be seeing results right now, right? Troubleshoot with them, get them as consistent as possible, give them tips wherever they need, right? Where are they falling short? I, one of the questions I ask over and over again is have you been able to stay consistent with your plexus? I ask that question all the time, even people that have been taking the products for six months and longer, because they'll say, oh, we went on vacation to Hawaii and I came back and now we're moving and my daughter's getting married next weekend. It's like, it's busy, busy. And I'm like, great. Have you been able to stay consistent with your plexus? Right? Really good question to ask anybody because then they'll say, oh, well, I'm remembering my slim, but if I'm getting my, you know, my nighttime stuff and I'm like, awesome, where's your toothbrush? Can you put Pro Bio 5 next to your toothbrush with a glass? Can you go do that right now? So that tonight it's ready and there for you to just take your pills real quick. You know, so that, that kind of opens the door to understand where their consistency issues might lie. Um, I had just talked to somebody today who's like really good in the morning, really good at bedtime, not so great in the middle of the day. Um, she's, you know, not so awesome with active and metaver in midday. And so we're kind of work with her on that, right? I'm like, okay, in the morning, if you're busy all day, why don't we just mix slim and active together? And you drink that in a huge water bottle in the morning to get it in and like take a with your breakfast, both of the capsules with your food. And let's see how that goes instead of splitting them up, right? So you can work on their regimen. And you can really start to understand what's easy and what's hard for them. You know, I have shift nurses that like work sometimes overnight. So their schedules are super funky. Um, so asking that question is really important and can be really effective. Because uh, a reminder, you'll get success, success sprint retention credits for people's second and third orders um, of, of 100 PV or more. Okay. So if people are in there for 60 to 90 days, you're going to be getting retention credits to keep them around. But also say it's somebody in their first 60 days, like maybe this is their second order in January will be their third order, right? So it'll roll over to next quarter, okay? We cannot like give up on people. And anyone who ordered earlier than that, I, I mean, if they're longtime season ambassadors, I would still connect with them now, beginning to mid month. And again, at the end of the month to make sure they're prepared with what they need to start the new year off, like on a healthy way, that they were able to stay consistent through the holidays. If they need to get back on track with something, because it's going to be really, really hard to get people back on once they've missed a bunch of days and they totally slack. It's hard to get them back. It's easier to keep them. And it's even easier to keep them on something that's maybe minimal, right? Like maybe they need to cut back on some stuff or something super busy, or they don't have something, they don't want to repurchase it. You know, if they're cutting back on spending and turning off their subscriptions, ask them what their budget, what their budget is. So you can help them just minimize their order instead of going cold turkey. I mean, we all know it really doesn't feel great when you all of a sudden are out of all of your plexus, right? <laughs> it's not awesome. Okay. And we don't want them to have to start over again. And you can tell them that, you know, you've gotten this far. We've already like went through detox. Like you've already, your body's already acclimated to the products. Instead of like cutting everything out all together, why don't we find what fits in your budget? What do you think would be a comfortable place for you this month to just keep you on something instead of nothing? Work with their budget, help them find like one or two items within that. Um, maybe it's just slim. Maybe it's only a pro bio five and bio cleanse, right? Um, remember for brand ambassadors, you're getting paid on points above 50 PV. For VIPs that have joined like this past fall since the rollout of that, um, you're getting paid down to 25 PV. So literally like a product, if they can keep them on like Metaburn, that's better than nothing, right? Because it's so hard to get people back once they've quit. And I want you to still have, you know, a lot of points and a lot of people going into the next year. Okay. So even if 
you're not getting leaders retreat credits or success sprint credits for, you know, Sue, who's been on Plexus for 11 months and just wants to take Metaburn. Yeah, that's fine. But in the long game, you're helping her find success with at least one product, right? You're getting points for that order. And the research says something like if somebody's on one product, they're like 80% more likely to buy something else from that same company. Something like that. If you can get them on something, it's better than nothing, right? Because it's easy, it's an easier upsell once they're already on a product. And it's something if it's somebody that's just dialing back, if they're still on your product, they're more likely to jump back in. Okay. So just remember that. We just cannot give up on people. Okay. Um, remember, remember, remember the long game. Okay. You might not be, you know, in the running for leaders retreat, you know, whatever, like maybe you just joined last month and, you know, it's been a slow start. That's totally fine. But remember the long game. And in the long game, you're not giving up on people. You're not letting people quit, right? You never know what amazing results await them. And they might even become your next business builder, right? You just, we literally never know. These people trusted us. So we need to do everything we can to help them be successful. Okay. We can't let them give up on themselves. And I'm really, really passionate about that because there has, there have been, you know, contests that have come and gone. I've been doing this for six years. Okay. I've earned some stuff and I've missed a ton of stuff. Okay. Um, I'm at the point now where I have seen a lot of these people come back. I've seen a ton of people quit and restart, you know, cancel their membership and then re-enroll. I've seen people that have just been, taken ProBio 5 for two years and then they come back and they want to be on all the things and they want to get in on the refresh challenge and they rock it out and they lose 40 pounds and they start sharing, right? Like I've had those things happen to me now. So I can confidently say that you want to be thinking in the long game. I don't care where your success rate credits are. I don't care where your team points are. Like I do not care. We need to care about not giving up on people and helping them get the results that they're looking for. So do not forget about your customer service. Um, even though you are maybe running for uh, credits in a contest that you know might rely more heavily on like new recruits, don't forget about all your existing team. Because if you're constantly only focused on generating new team members and forget out everybody on the back end, you're just gonna be treading water, okay? You're gonna be a rat in a wheel and your team's not gonna be growing. Okay, so keep these people around. And Plexus has made it even easier to grow your team, even with people ordering one or two products, right? That's the whole point of this big comp plan change, the VIP customer change thing. It is so much easier to grow now because the barrier to entry has been like taken away, right? Membership is cheaper. You're getting points down to 25 PV. Like it is so much easier to actually grow your team now. So don't forget that. You might be looking at leaders retreat like, oh, I'm not even close to 700 credits. Like I have 110 credits. I don't even know. Like this isn't even for me. But even though leaders retreat might not be for you, this opportunity is still for you for the rest of your life. Okay. So what do you want to build? What habits do you want to build? Because if you plan on still being around here next year in the holiday season, don't you wish you would have done things to set you set yourself up for success in the next year, right? You don't just want to like, peace out during all the holidays and let your team go to crap. Okay. So that is my piece about customer service, helping you be successful, no matter where they are in their journeys, newbies, veterans in between all that. Okay. Now the second part of that third category, I'm calling this three B about connecting with your team, help them share. Okay. If you want to grow your team, if you want to get momentum going, if you want to earn leaders retreat, if you want to rank up or re-rank, the way to do it is to multiply your efforts by helping your team share. And I know this sounds really daunting because we talk about duplication, duplication, duplication. Let's generate silvers. Let's get senior silver. Let's get business builders. Like I know there's a lot of weight put behind that, but imagine if just, you know, your neighbor, Sally, that signs up. What if she just like got her mom to sign up? Sweet. Instead of enrolling one person, you just got two new people on your team, right? So that can quickly multiply. I think about everybody you enroll, if they just grab one buddy it can grow your team really fast. Okay. So if we can help our team think of people to do this with them, you know, help them make a post, help them have an online event or all the above, or maybe just like get their husband to do it with them. So they have accountability in their own household. Um, that's one more than we had before. Right. So that's huge. If you're enrolled three this month, imagine if that was six, like, where would your team be? How would your momentum be? So I want you to think about that and the effect that that could have on your team instead of, I need to enroll a business builder. I want someone looking for the opportunity. Like, yes, of course, everybody wants those things. 
Okay. But there are other opportunities for growth out there and tapping into someone else's network can open up a gigantic wave of momentum. And we have no idea of the potential that's there until we start asking them to share. Okay. So I have some scripts for you. This one's going to be for anyone on your team. That's like seeing great results. I'm all about asking them to have online events. You probably have heard me talk about this before. I am extremely passionate about it. Our team loves online events because they work. It allows people to give a lot of their friends and family, a lot of information all at one time. And if people have um, kind of this aversion to sharing, um, I find that having a private online event where you do all the work and they just invite people to it seems actually easier for them to comprehend than making a public Facebook post which who knows how many people are even going to see that, right? So they muster up all this courage and they're like, I'm so nervous. I don't know. I just, I don't know about making a post. But what are people going to think of me? Like, oh, they're all self-conscious. And then they make this post and then like nobody even sees it. So that's crickets, right? And they don't even get the results that they wanted. And then you kind of like wasted trying to convince them to do a business building activity, right? Which is a huge bummer because we want to get them to post. We want to get them to share. And then if it's just like a total flop, you're like, oh, I just wasted all that. But if we can use that same energy for them to invite 30 people to an online event, right, in the same conversation, we can give all those people information directly to the people who said they were interested and get them some people signed up, okay? So that is really how we generate a lot of, um, you know, level twos and threes on my team. Um, so here's my script for asking someone to have an online event. Let me um, copy it for you quickly, and I will drop it into the chat so you have it. Um, Oh my gosh, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna put it in there. Make sure you get it. Okay. It says, hey, how was your weekend? I know you've been loving your Plexus lately. Would you ever be interested in me hosting an online info event for you and your friends and family to learn more about Plexus? It would be great to see if anyone might like to jump in and try it with you. I will give away a trial pack too. That would be so fun for someone to win. It's wonderful because not only will you have some accountability buddies to do this with, you'll make a kickback from each person sign up. And you have the ability to make over $300 a month just by finding three people who wanna join you. So fun, what do you think? I use that script, I've used it for years, okay? Um, it, it works. <laughs> and some people are like, no, that's not my jam. You know, I don't think I really wanna do that. That's fine, that's, that's okay. But I don't know that until I ask them, right? And we do a lot, a lot, a lot of events on our team. And even the ones that feel like a total flop can end up with like one or two enrollments which is a huge win in my book. And I've also had events where, you know, I've asked somebody who's been on Plexus for six, eight months. And I'm like, Hey, why don't we have an online event? And they're like, yeah, cause they're loving the products. You know, they are seeing good results and we have it. And then they enroll five people because they, they really believe in the products, you know, so they invite a ton of people because they've been using them for a while. Um, are you still doing just zoom message chat or a mix of both? So I do online posting events, the one hour posting events that have a post going off like every five minutes. Um, I still do those. And then I get into three-way chats after, and I have a template page for that. So if you'd like me to share like my template, um, I can do that. Yeah. I do it on a private Facebook group page. And so I schedule all the posts and, um, yeah, I have all the posts in a, uh, timed template group, um, that I can add you to if you're not in it already. Um, it has, all the posts and I just kind of fix the post anytime we have a new product or something, but it has like some testimonies, all the product information, um, welcome pack information, all that is in, it's basically, you know, it's an hour in an evening, um, but nobody needs to be live, right? They don't have to be live on anything. So the time commitment is a little less um, heavy for them because they can kind of show up anytime that evening. I find that most enrollments actually come in that evening before the end of the party. Um, and it's just a concept that people are really familiar with, right? Online Facebook parties are not new news. So I think people now, especially being really familiar with Facebook and really used to those parties, they're like, sure, add me, it's fine. Um, yes, I will add you guys to, or I'll send you the link to the template group. Um, I'll put it in the uh, dash, to Dig dash to Disney page with the recording of this um, for you guys to get added to that online event template page. And it has like directions of like how to, invite to an online event, how to like, where to schedule the posts, how to put them in there, like how to set up the group, what to do afterward, tips to give your person that's running the event, you know, it's like all that is in there. Um, but you can ask your sponsor, you know, to help you run an event if you don't know how, uh, but these are super, super effective. We have many success stories on our team of people who were just 
using Plexus products for months and months and an event like this launched them into the business essentially because they saw how influential they really were. Um, a lot of business builders on my team now were people that just love the products. And three, four months in, I said, what do you think about doing this? And they were like, yeah, I guess so. Sounds good. And turns out they have a lot of influence in their network. A lot of people trust them. And they're like, hey, I can make some pretty good money doing this. You know, because if you get someone through those fast start bonuses now, like that's huge. I mean, if someone's like rocketing through senior silver and then like gets their husband silver and stuff, I mean, they're making, it's like over a thousand dollars or something. I did the math for somebody once and I'm like, this is legit. So if they, if you find somebody who's got a lot of influence, um, that can be really helpful. I had a gal join last year that did, I did this with, she joined, man, I can't remember what month it was, but I didn't ask her to have an event until about five months later. She's a bartender. And so she knew a ton of people. And at that event, she went senior silver. So it's just crazy. Just the potential is there. It's all I'm saying. <laughs> the potential is there. You got to tap into it. But if they don't want to go for an event in, you know, at any given time, maybe later than when they're seeing better results or they're like more a long, long-term Plexus user, I would recommend kind of bringing it up again that uh, maybe either they can do a shout out post for you. Like, would you consider giving me a shout out kind of thing? Or you can ask them about making the post. Like, would you ever consider sharing your, um, your experience, you know, all that. So here's a script for asking people to do that. Um, I will send this to you. I keep right clicking on accident. Sorry. So I'm going to copy this one in here. And this is just an example of ones that I've used that have gotten people to be like, yeah, sure. And you, again, posts sometimes are like a flop because posts, if they haven't been engaging with people on Facebook, if they're not super active, you know, if they don't have a lot of friends, like there's so many variables to who's going to see a post, but it gets them to kind of cross that hurdle, right? And just kind of test the waters. So here's a script for that. So I am loving the great results you're having with Plexus. Do you think you'd ever be open to me helping you make a Facebook post about it? I'm sure you have people in your life who are struggling with things like weight, energy, digestion, sleep, mood, immunity, and seeing a great post from you might encourage them to ask about it. Not only would a friend be a good Plexus buddy for you, but you will also earn about 30 bucks for referring them. If you have three friends join, just like you join me, you will get about $300. What do you think? So, um, and that's for like, you know, a new silver and all that. Um, or fast start or whatever. Yeah, do the, do your own math. <laughs> but um, that's like I always check always check the dollar amounts um, on all of the scripts because every time I send it to somebody, whatever the current month's thing is, I change it. Like if someone's in their fast start window, then I'll add make sure it's fast start. Like I think this is a fast start one. This is fast start without the fifty dollar bonus. So whatever. Um, these are all in the notes of my phone. I have them labeled like asking someone to have an online event script asking someone to post script. Okay. Like I have all these in a note on my phone and I just check the cash bonus amount every single time I send it. So don't like take my word for that. Um, but there's a lot of first post examples you can help them with, or you can write them with the results that they gave you and just, you know, tell them to use a photo or a video or whatever. Um, and this could be a great space to open up a discussion about the business. If they could benefit from, you know, making extra money during the holidays, you could add that in too. Um, because somebody's like, I'm struggling, you know, and you want to get them on less products instead of quitting. Maybe they you help them make a post about it to see if anybody wants to order to give them some commission, right? Like it's, it's kind of this delicate dance, but you shouldn't be afraid of bringing it up because everybody wants more money, <laughs> right? So like, don't, don't think that that's not true because it literally is. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I'm sure there's like one person in the world that doesn't want any more money. I don't know. Don't come at me like that. But most people could benefit from having more money, right? They could do more things. They could help more people. They could live more comfortably, right? So don't be uh, shy to offer an opportunity for to help someone get that, okay? But finally, my last thing is something that is hardcore ingrained in my scheduling and my regimen now when I add people. Every single time someone joins me, right after I make sure they get added into our team age, I immediately ask them, ask them who they know who could do this with them. And I use this script every time. Works like a charm. You know, of course, there's the people that don't, but it's it's surprising how many people do. Okay. I say, all right, you are in, like in the team page. 
I'm so excited for you. I do always help everyone find at least one person to be their accountability partner in Plexus. Maybe think of someone who's close to you and can help you stay on track. Lots of times people have a husband, sibling, mom, BFF, et cetera, join them. Not only will they be a good Plexus buddy for you, but you will also earn about $30 for referring them. If you have three friends join, like you join me, you'll get about $300. Do you have some people I could help you give some info to, to see if they'd like to do this with you? Okay, I like took the same, you know, same snippet out from some of them. You just kind of change the beginning and ending, right? You would be so surprised. I have had countless people, either mom, husband, sister, all kinds of people to do this with them. Because once they hear that, they're like, oh, if I refer somebody, I get 30 bucks. Like that's legit. Especially because a lot of the referral stuff nowadays is $10 off. Have you noticed that? Like Erin Condren, Stitch Fix, like I don't even know. It's like $10 off an order. And you literally get $30 cash when they refer somebody to get a welcome pack. Um, in points and business building bonuses. Okay. And I just had somebody actually enroll their mom like a few days ago, now that I think about it. Um, so it, it totally works. A lot of people have their husband because I'm usually like, I'm here to be like your virtual coach. But if you have somebody who's like in your office, a coworker in your house, your husband, someone that's a neighbor on your street, right? Your mom that you talk to on the phone every day, like you could help each other. Um, even if they're like, no, I can't think of anybody right now. It at least gets the thought in their head, right? And then if in three months, they're like, I'm 20 pounds down. I'm sleeping so good. I have so much energy. My mood is so much better now. I'm like, yeah, you're, I've seen such great results. What do you think about having an online event? <laughs> you know, like I just come right back to it and they're like, yeah, okay, I guess so. Cause it's like, they're, I've already introduced the idea, you know, and they're not new to it. So, you know, sometimes people will say they have a few people in mind. And guess what? That's a great time to have an online event, right? If they got like more than just their husband, then great. We should be plopping them into an online event because that saves me from giving a bunch of separate people information all separate, all individually, right? If you can get them all in an online event, they all get exposed to all the same information and can ask questions all at the same time. Um, so I really, I just love online events, guys. <laughs> I just love them. Um, but sometimes people will say, you know, they want to try the products first and they want to wait. Great. Give them outstanding customer service. And in a couple months, when they're seeing great results, you ask them about having an event or making a post, okay? So just remember that if somebody's like, I just wanna try the products, it's not like no forever, right? But that's your sign to go above and beyond with your customer service, which you should be doing anyway, um, any and anyway, all the time. However, people are much less likely to quit on their products if they're getting paid. They're much less likely to quit Plexus if they have enrolled a couple people, right? And they're getting, you know, paychecks for that, even if it's tiny, right? It makes their products cheaper. So they're more affordable. So it's more approachable for, for them. And they've got other people kind of counting on them, right? They can't quit on somebody you invited into this. So there's a lot of good that can come from helping people find just one person, right? And um, it all starts with just asking that question. So I know a lot of us are focused on like enroll, 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 but like, don't forget about the gold mine. That's your team. And not everyone's interested, of course, um, you know, and sharing and that's fine, but we never know until we ask them. Okay. And I want you guys to think about where you want to be like next year at this time. You know, don't forget that it's not just a, a three month contest. That's not just the only thing you're running for. You're running for long-term growth on your team, long-term growth in this business, long-term flexibility and freedom for your family, okay? Getting one contest prize is not going to make or break your whole life, but building sustainable systems that can allow your team to like maintain their momentum long-term is what's really going to help you because there's always going to be ups and downs. There's always going to be the slow months and the busy months and the momentum times and like the times when your team totally tanks. Like it, it happens. It's happened to me. It happens to everybody. Okay. But these are the things that I know I keep doing and my team keeps doing that are just still working. So a couple challenges for you this week, send out some samples. Okay. Maybe some top potentials that haven't um, had a sample yet. that You've been talking to that have been on the fence and it's holidays. So it's like, eh, but remember the new year is coming. So if you can have a sample on their kitchen counter before the new year, and you can get them locked down before January one, do that, send some samples and go ahead and ask your team about sharing with one person, you know, who's the one person you can do this with, or maybe, you know, have you thought about making a post or what do you think about me having an online event for you? This next week is the perfect week to do that. 
Okay. The week right before Christmas is like a great time to do that this week or next week. I mean, next week is getting like super close to Christmas, but like, if you can tonight or Monday morning, go down a list of a bunch of people who have joined you since the spring that are seeing great results and are still in their Plexus products and ask all of them to have an online event. You'll probably get a couple events out of it that you can do on Thursday night. And then you might have, you know, a new silver by Sunday, <laughs> you know, like you don't even know it can absolutely happen. So uh, I, think I got to all the questions, right? I need to scroll. Yeah. Um, if you have any other questions, I'm going to post a recording to this. So you can ask there about the scripts or anything. Um, and I will also post the link to my online event template group, but I hope this was super helpful for you guys. Hope you got a lot of information. Hope you saved the scripts and all of that. And here's to an awesome end of December and end of 2021. Okay, guys. Good night.